Hello and welcome to Success Stories, Saturday, September 16th. That's a lot of alliteration there. 2017, Steve Cypress here. My rhino of the day is this textbook example of a rhino. If you're going to make a rhino that looks extremely realistic, right down to the horns being an ivory color instead of the same color as the rest of the rhino, which is a gray color, but it's known as a white rhino. And uh, some writing on the bottom. Uh, oh, it says White Rhino, 1996 copyright, Safari LTD, Miami, Florida, made in China. So the company, uh, aptly named Safari Limited, is in Miami, but it is made, as so much stuff is made these days, in China. And it is about 21 years old. Doesn't look a day older than 20. The White Rhino textbook example of a rhino. And today I'm discussing a textbook example of the implementation of the WOW strategy. You can go to thewowstrategy.com if you want a little video about it. But it's very simple. The three letters in the word WOW spell success in all of your sales and marketing efforts. And this one was done by a 10-year-old kid. He's now 11, but he was 10 years old when he wrote this letter to the President of the United States and said, I run my own lawn mowing business and I'm offering to mow the lawn at the White House for free. And the president responded and said, sure, come on. He went there and it was yesterday. He went and mowed the lawn. So I have a feeling that his business got, first of all, got a ton of publicity, much of which doesn't matter, of course, since an extremely local business. But I'm pretty sure that everyone in his neighborhood or anywhere near him is all excited. And his days of going door to door, knocking on doors or trying to get the word out, all that BS you hear about people who don't know how to do marketing about get your name out or brand your name in the area like uh, that's all done with one swift implementation of direct response marketing the wow strategy he went directly to his ideal target clients so in this case he chose the president of the United States and I saw in an interview yesterday that's the first W by the way of the wow strategy is the who who you would like to do business with you and he chose the president of the United States on the lawn of the White House I saw in an interview yesterday they said well, why the president? He's like, well, I wanted to do something big. Not much bigger than mowing the lawn for the president of the United States. So now we go to step two. You've got to make an irresistible offer. That's the O in the WOW strategy. And also on another interview I saw, he regularly charges $8 for a lawn. That's obviously not getting any pricing strategy advice from me. That's way too low for long, mowing the lawn, even for a 10-year-old or 11-year-old kid. Um, but he said, hey, and he said this was thanks to his father was suggesting, why don't you offer to do it for free? Because that makes it irresistible, even though $8 is also irresistible. But the whole idea of saying I'll mow it for free because he's mowing that one lawn for free. And then look at the results that happen. Look how much free publicity he's getting. It's the same thing in your business. If you're just starting out or looking to make a big splash, go offer to do some work for some ideal clients that can get you lots of referrals and give you a success story and get the word spreading out there about how great your service is, maybe put online reviews about you, all that stuff for some irresistible amount, like free. When you get started, you can get a track record and get going. So he picked the ideal who, and then he made the irresistible offer inside a letter, a one paragraph letter of email. Now, I know it's hard to believe, but not long ago, this would not have worked. He, he would have targeted our last president of the United States who, you know, if you made something that looked like a bomb and get into school, well, you got invited to the White House by that president. But that, that is not going to fly with this one. I have a feeling that if he would have written a letter or any kid writes a letter to the president saying, Dear President Trump, I want to make something that looks like a bomb and take it into school. Will you invite me to the White House? Like, that ain't going to fly. Okay, But knowing this president is entrepreneur, pro-business, thankfully, after all this uh, eight years of crazy anti-business, socialist, you know, whatever coming out of the White House. So in the letter, he said, hey, admire your business success. And I run my own business. So he got some, uh, built some rapport with his who, with his target chosen and who that he wanted to do business with and then made the offer, the irresistible offer of I'll do it free. And then how is he going to get that irresistible offer to that chosen who? Well, the last W, the wild strategy is the way. What way is he going to use? And he sent a letter to the president because this White House, I found out, uh, read somewhere that they had announced they're going to start 
reading letters to the president from kids once a week in a, of some kind of White House briefing in some kind of White House room or something. They come out and they'll pick one letter a week or something. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that his dad had a lot to do with this, but it was, hey, kid, let's make a big splash. Let's pick the target who, the president. Let's craft a letter that he will appreciate. It's pro-business, pro-entrepreneur, not pro. I'm like a bomb, and uh, you'll invite me to the White House, or I'm anti-cop. And you'll invite me to the White well, House. Not going to fly with, with this president, is it? So this president is pro self reliance, your own business, entrepreneurial spirit. And then, and, and then he chose the way is writing this letter to him, and that's how he got, got it to him. Did he send a text to the president? Did he tweet the president? Did he Facebook the president? Did he, uh, uh, I don't know, phone call the president? No, he picked the way that would get this in front of the president. He mailed him a letter, and he hand signed the letter because when you're targeting a very small target like in this case one you could either hand write or at least hand sign the letter and i'm guessing that the envelope itself was also hand addressed with a live stamp put on it and all that good stuff so textbook example of the wow strategy implemented by a 10 year old kid if a 10 year old kid can do it why not you why not everybody that's it for success story saturday ace is here mario's here lee werner's here Alvin's here, Brian Sachs, and Edward is here. Thanks for being here. I don't see any questions, comments, concerns, issues, anything at all. I do see some likes, which I really appreciate. Thanks for that. And those go to the now 11-year-old kid who implemented this strategy. And then, by the way, when he was at the White House mowing along, I saw some video that the president come. I mean, can you imagine? The president actually comes out from what I would assume presidents are busy doing stuff, and he comes out, and he which Donald Trump knows how to manipulate the media, of course. Why do you think he's in the White House? So he knows, hey, this is a great opportunity to be seen, not with a kid who built a bomb or something that looks like a bomb. I don't want to be seen with that kid, but I want to be seen with the entrepreneurial, hardworking, let's get it done kid. And so he went out there and couldn't even stop the kid, couldn't even get his attention. Took a while to stop this kid from just, yep, hi, yep, I see you, but I got to mow the lawn. I got to get it done. I am hardworking, goal-oriented, results-oriented. I'm doing what I said I would do, and I'm getting it done. Man, if we, I put on Facebook, if we had, we only need about 100 million more kids and parents like that in America, and we wouldn't be going off the end of a cliff. So people can complain all they want that, like, Trump in getting done what he wanted to get done because Congress, of course, I mean, I love how they complain that Trump has a low approval rating. I, I think it's, like, twice as high as anyone in Congress or Congress. Congress as a whole or whatever. So Congress is the one not getting anything done, but that's that's really fine with me. All, if all Trump did was put the brakes on, America going off the cliff from eight years of going more and more towards socialism and rewarding kids, making things that look like bombs and inviting parents of criminals over to the White House just because cops shot them while they were being criminals and whatever, like, you know, that's all done at least for eight, four years and maybe eight eight years or whatever, at least we got that and we put the brakes on country going in the wrong direction and going off the cliff. And this kid, Frank FX Giaccio, fantastic example of that. And textbook example of using the wild scratchy. That's it. Oh, see a little co couple of comments. See, Lee, Lee Werner says, direct mail marketing to 1600 pence. Right. He said, let me get a mailing list of all my ideal target clients. I know. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and uh, Ace says, wow. Yes, indeed. That's one reason it's called wow strategy, not to mention, of course, it's got those three letters in it, but that's what your prospects will say, that's what your clients will say, it's what your accountant will say, speaking of Lee Werner, that's what your bank account will say, it will say wow when you implement this strategy. So go do it, and if you want some help. Let me know, steve at stevecypress.com or hit me up here on Facebook or Twitter, Steve Cypress. Or go to stevecypress.com, fill in a form, and go to stevecypress.com slash help. has right there. You can ask for help, and I will help you to implement the wow strategy in your business. Can't guarantee you'll get invited to the White House, but I can absolutely help you make a ton of money and have a ton of fun doing it. And isn't that what life and what business is and should be all about? All right.
Heading out to dinner with my beautiful wife, Michelle. Got to go on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in always way too sunny Arizona. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend as well. Thanks for being here today. And I'll see you back here tomorrow on Sunday, Funday. I'll check in and say hello. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.